Hello everybody, this is Healing Fire coming to you with something new, something exciting. This is a game called Scania Truck Driving Simulator the Game and this is... Well, it's a fun little game. Most of the fun comes from uh, this over here, the dangerous drive, so that is what we are going to be doing eventually, but uh, let's do the driving license uh, parts first. Learn the basics of maneuvering in a tight space situations and prove that you are in full control of the vehicle while undertaking basic trucking exams. So yeah, let's uh, do that. Brake test. Seems uh, pretty straightforward, so let's start with that and um, yeah. We will uh, we will continue on and uh, finish most of this game. There we go. <laughs> These uh, first challenges really aren't going to be too difficult. Anyway, let's see what uh, the next one is. Straight line reversing. I literally don't have to do anything. Truck is set up straight as an arrow. Pretty much. Seeing that my steering wheel was slightly off center, I did have to uh, adjust a little bit, but. Eh. Oh yeah, by the way, I am playing this with my steering wheel. Okay. Pull up forwards into this spot and then reverse into the other one. Seems uh, pretty easy. The uh, force feedback in this game is slightly screwed. No. Can't uh, turn it down, it's just really annoying because it's up quite high. Yeah, I kind of screwed that one up. Let's fix that. There we go. Straighten out, and there we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the fact that I can just uh, change my um, force feedback is really annoying. Because I have to pull quite hard at, <laughs> at my steering wheel. Ooh, my overshot. There we go. Ooh, I'm gonna overshoot my parking spots. I am not really showing off my trucking skills. Also, why does uh, my steering wheel auto center while I'm standing still? That just. That doesn't happen. Okay. Mm, nope, not gonna make that. I'm really screwing this up, aren't I? There we go. Now we're pretty much lined up. Nope, I screwed up in the other direction. God damn it. You may have guessed that I am not a real life trucker. With this uh, abominable, sh abominable, this horrible showing <laughs> of my trucking skills. There we go. Okay. Parking in the tight spots. Let's go over the shoulder view. So following these tire marks on the floor is a really easy way to line up to the parking spot. I am slightly off, I hope it'll take that. Yep, it does. Okay. Noise. Let's see. Parallel parking. 
driver's side. Okay, that's the easy one. The difficult one is yet to come. Ooh, I think I might have cut that a bit short. Actually, no, I'm fine. Okay, and let's pull up forward slide bit. There we go. Next one. This is gonna be the blind parallel. Yeah. The blind parallel parking. So that's why I have the wide angle mirror if I really need it. By the way, I'm using the in-game extra mirrors because the actual truck mirrors are zoomed up out way too far. <laughs> because I'm uh, playing on a fairly small screen. Okay, that's how far I am, so need to go forward a bit. There we go. Next. What is my objective? It didn't tell me my objective. Oh, park over there. Okay, I'm gonna restart because. Going in the outside view, yes, he automatically skips. But uh, going in the outside view detaches, uh, takes a bit off of my points, and I want to try to get max points on all of these driver license things. They're fairly easy, so why wouldn't you? <laughs> That's a slalom backwards. But once again, it's automatically skipped the uh, the info. No, oh, that's that's bad. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Going to go backwards in a straighter line as possible. Because otherwise, you're gonna get stuff like this where you need to. You need to lock your steering wheel one of the two sides. Anyway. Oh, by the way, sorry if my steering wheel is really loud. There's not much I can do about that. Considering the position I'm in. Anyway. Next. Pick up the trailer and then park. Okay. This is fairly easy as well. Floor it in reverse. That's always a great idea. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently I was off quite a bit, but whatever. If the game is gonna give it to me, why wouldn't I take it? Is that all of them in the thing? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, let's go with uh, some interesting stuff. Scania truck driving dangerous drives. By the way, you'll see I have points and times on these first couple ones. I was just driving them to uh, get my controls set up and making sure that the game didn't crash, which is always fairly important. Anyway, the road of death. These are roads with an international reputation for being dangerous. Roads which test the driver to the limit. Roads where it's not just about reaching the destination with undamaged cargo, but making it alive and in one piece. Do you want to drive? Do you want to try? Sorry, not do you want to drive. Anyway, as you can see, this is a very fairly a uh, dangerous drive as the name of the uh, set which suggests 
and uh, these are fairly difficult drives. This one is actually dangerous. There's a uh, one coming up s somewhere in the future, which well, there are a couple which aren't actually dangerous drives, which are just uh, really quite difficult drives. So yeah. Anyway. Oh, last time I was playing this, my truck would just slide forwards for some reason. Oh, there it's going. <laughs> I was just about to say that it seemed to have fixed itself, but it hasn't. Oh, there we go. That's the truck sliding. This is the part where I do require all of my concentration, so I am gonna be kind of silent even though I'm talking. Anyway, there we go. That's the most dangerous and difficult part done. Ooh. <laughs> And after having done the most difficult part, I of course almost slam into a rock. Anyway, I think the finish is just ahead of us, not too far. Again, sorry if you. If the force feedback is really loud, there's not much I can do about that. Let's see, from just not recording any voice. That would be boring. Now, wouldn't it? Anyway, here we go. Let's floor it into here, because once your bumper hits the finish line, you're fine. There we go, max points, because I actually tried this time and the old scores I really didn't try. Anyway, next one, main road is out under repair, there is no choice but to use the patches along the riverside. It's not going to be easy, this alternate route is certainly wasn't meant for truck. Yeah, as you can see, indeed not meant for trucks. Anyway, first things first, we need to reverse out of here. So let's do that. And just reverse pretty much straight. A little, little bit of turning at the end here. Because, you know, it's a most dangerous drive. As you can see, this isn't dangerous. This is just a very tricky drive. So, yeah. This one, I think, is actually quite a lot more difficult than the last one. Even though the last one is an actual dangerous drive and this isn't. Stop. Okay. Reversing a bit, and then I am going to move closer to this thing over here. Uh, okay, that's done it. There you go. As you can see, a lot of concentration required into moving through this one. Okay, I think I'm fine. There we go. On to the next part. <laughs> Let's take this turn as wide as possible. And then move in. Very close. Yeah, I thought as much. Nearly hit the concrete barrier. 
with the passenger side. There we go. Wouldn't want to end up in the river now, would we? gonna touch Get it to it. that's very very close but I think yeah we made it there we go my actual trucking skills are being shown here and not like the way I was driving in the uh, in the trucker driver's license thing. There we go. Ooh. Next. The flood. The city is in serious trouble through the heavy rainfall in the nearby mountains. The parts of the city report food and emergency supply shortages. This flood area is deemed safe enough to pass with maximum care. Try getting supplies to where they are needed the most. Yeah, we need to drive through that. <laughs> with the uh, invisible things blocking you here and there. Which is very annoying. Also, I haven't shown you any of the replays yet. I do hope the uh, replay system lets you pull out replays from older drives. If it's the case, then I'll splice in the old uh, replays right after their things. Well. <laughs> That was a failure of a turn. Even though I am already feel like I'm on a part of... I want to say road, but it's really can't be considered road anymore. That is non-existent. Anyway, there we go. Bumpy! There we go. Beep 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 okay. no. There's something in the way so yeah. There we go Inside looks fine, outside looks fine little bit straight, so that's fine, that's easy, we can manage that. Let's just fit in between these cars, why am I not turning? Seriously, why is it not turning? It wants to turn when I'm reversing, but it didn't want to turn while I was driving forward. That was weird, but yeah. Once you get a bit of speed up, it feels like you're driving on icy. Look at that! My wheel was turned, but I was going straight on for no good reason. Anyway, I guess I'm not getting maximum points on this one. Really don't care that much. Anyway, let's just look at this replay, it's kind of nice to watch sometimes. That turn was really way too wide. Not that it really mattered that much. And here, I didn't go nearly wide enough here. Wake. 
That's not really much. Nope. Let's just grab this can again. There. Nice driving. Right. All right, I'm just gonna this here. This really quite near. Let's uh, follow it again here. Let's see what my wheel is turned, but the truck isn't turning, which is really annoying. We'll see it happen again in just a minute. Where my tires should be quite obviously turned. Yeah, right there. Tires are turned, I'm going straight. Uh, let's find a good cam. It's None of these are really good, but this will be the best. We all saw my wheels were turned here, right? So Wheels are still turned. I'm going straight. Also, it hits nothing. Which also a problem sometimes in this game. I just hit nothing. Anyway, let's do one more challenge. Or one more dangerous drive, I should say. And I hope you guys like heavy metal. Well, heavy guitar. All the distortion. Anyway, while some people are having fun, other people have to work hard. This is just such a case. In the backstage area, there is already a trailer full of sound equipment urgently expected at the next tour location. Hurry, you can enjoy the music some other time. Yeah. We don't necessarily need to back up the entire way, but that's what I like to do in this uh, drive. It's really quite easy to search back up to where you need to be. There we go. And we are at a trailer. So let's hook this bad boy up and then we're ready to go. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Ready to rumble. This is really quite a tricky turn to pull off. Because there is two obstacles very close to each other. to be fine. To turn more this direction though. I don't want to hit the trailer to the other truck. That's close. Ah, that hit. Okay, I'll take that. I scraped some paint off my bumper. Nah, anyway. Now we're home free. Can we play? Floor it! <laughs> yeah, that's as fast as the Latin go in the first in this game. In your truck, you get to go slightly faster because they don't limit the RPMs until you're in the red zone in this game. You still in the green zone and they limit it. Or the blue zone, one of the two. That's a very nice camera, dude. Don't know who thought that was a good idea. Apparently, I still had quite a bit of room left. Oh well. Luck on me, something is on tour, apparently. Yeah, I stopped waiting for it. 
pay a little attention. Come on. And now, if the camera is nice, we might be able to see just how tight this is. Now, look at that. Look at how close I am to that car on the other side. On the other side, to the top cam. Yeah, see. This this is all you get. Just uh, think of that from this camera phone. See, I want to turn in here, but I don't have any free space. So I turn back, but I turn back just a little bit too late. That's a horrible. Yeah, about there is where I hit. That's still the same horrible camera location. There we go. And boop, that's it. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today, and I hope to see you guys back here in the very near future. Bye bye!